show of hands. Other young girls aren't taught how to be empowered. And my three empowered women are Frida Kahlo, Rosa Parks, and Dolores Huerta. And each one of these women correspond with each of my four flags. To me, Frida Kahlo is vulnerable because she shows her reality, her pain, and she, show, she shows her fight and her bad connection with Diego Rivera. And that painting inspired me in our class to paint my past and my future, my present. Because a short story is not going to get that long. I don't live with my parents, and I think I am better off without them because I don't have to deal with domestic violence, alcoholics, drug usage, and sexual abuse. Enough secrets, enough hurt, enough confusion, enough denial, enough sexual abuse. Vulnerability is our most accurate measurement of courage. This quote um, inspired me because I know that I can be vulnerable. I know that I am empowered. I know that I am powerful, and I know that I can be someone very strong, very important in someone else's life. Worthiness. Rosa Parks believed in herself. She believed that she had the same rights as white people, and that is what inspires me, that I have the same rights as anyone else. And in Humanities, I made a short story that talked about my fears, and my fear was being kidnapped and bullied. And this painting shows that I hope that it never happens to um, I know I am worthy of having a supportive family, a good education, and loving myself. But sometimes other things cloud into my vision, and it doesn't help me grow, and it doesn't help me become, it doesn't let me show who I want to be. Please repeat after me. I am enough. I am enough. Yes, you are enough. Change. This word goes great with the great Senora Dolores Huerta, and she says, can you make a change within you? Can you make a change within your group, within the society, within the country? And she made a cause, she made an organization called Viva La Causa, and she helped farm workers and children are, that are in need, and she helped them because when she was a teacher, some kids would come empty stomachs, starve, and with no shoes, and she helped make this organization along with Cesar Chavez, and she says, yes, you can do it. So if she can do it, I can do it too. It only takes one person to change your life, you. And I did change my life because now I am good at math and I am happy with it because it was my worst subject. And I have grown more mature throughout the year, throughout the semester, because initially I wanted a quinceanera, Mexican equivalent to a sweet 16. And, but then a big surprise came along a trip to Poland. Well, you could take Krakow 2016 with Pope Francis. But like how Steve Jobs says, think different. I did. I wanted a new tradition. I wanted something different. I wanted to experience something different. And my desire is to go to Poland, to go out of the country. And there will be thousands of people. We will be in a pilgrimage. We will be singing and playing a guitar. We will be meeting people from all over the world. And I mean, who couldn't say yes? I said yes. It will be much more rewarding because I know that I will enjoy myself in having a regular party here in San Diego. I will be raising funds, and it only takes a village to help a young girl's dream come true. I will be hand making crafts and ornaments. In three weeks, I raised close to $300 out of my $4,000 budget, and I still have a year and a half to go. If you see me at a local store or a craft fair, please come by, don't be a stranger, see my progress, support my cause, and if you have a store or a business, please invite me. And here's my website, sorry, um, for Poland. Here's, um, you can donate here. It talks about my youth group, Pope Francis, um, you can go fund me. Um, these are the days of Krakow. I have an online store, which is Etsy. These are the projects I have done so far. These are my sponsors. And you can contact
contact my mom on Facebook. Um, I am vulnerable. I am worth it. I am becoming the change. I am empowering myself as 